Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to the series of circuit uh, practice problem. And today we'd like to solve a circuit uh, using what we call source transformation. So before we answer the question, what is source transformation? In simple language, it's basically when you have a voltage source, value is Vs, in series with a resistance R, this is equivalent to a current source IS in parallel with the resistance R. And the relationship between VS and IS is through Ohm's law, your VS is equal to IS times R. So you can go back and forth between these two transformations. The question is why we need uh, to do this. This will help you basically to uh, make uh, the circuit analysis easier by having the resistors connected uh, that originally not connected in either parallel or series. When you do such a change, uh, you will uh, make the circuit easier by basically adding the sources together and also adding the resistors together. So you will the, make this, the analysis of the circuit much simpler. So let's go and see the question here. It says, find I0. I want to find this current using source transformation. Usually the branch that has the variable that I want to connect or uh, sorry, I want to calculate is basically I don't touch that, that specific branch. So I touch everything in the circuit except that uh, because otherwise I will lose the information that I want to, uh, to calculate. So when you look here, you will find that these two resistors are in series in parallel with this, but I don't want to touch this resistance. This is, I don't want to touch it. I want to keep it as it is. So then there is nothing connect I can do here on this side. When I come here, there is nothing in series or in parallel. So the circuit it has to be analyzed with such uh, complications. Now let's see how uh, the source transformation can help us to reduce the complexity of the analysis. So we can identify here that basically this voltage source is in series with this resistance and this current source is in parallel with this resistance. Now, you could go this way or that way, uh, but I prefer to, uh, especially when a circuit made from several loops like this, is to convert everything into a current source in parallel with each other to add them. But again, you can, you can go the other way around and make them like a circuit with uh, voltage sources in, in series. So I would start with this branch here. And this will be converted into a current source. And this current source will be the voltage 150 divided by the 15 kilo ohm, which will give me 10 milliamps. So this is a 10 milliamp. And the 15 kilo ohm will become in parallel here. So we'll have here 15. We'll have here the 30. And then we will have the rest of the circuit 7 and Three, ten milliamps, and then you will have the hundred plus the fifteen and the ten. So this is fifteen and ten. Now these two resistors now becomes in parallel. So the fifteen is in parallel with the thirty. So this is equal to 15 times 30 over 15 plus 30. This you will have basically a 10 kilo ohm resistance. So these two will be replaced by a 10 kilo ohm resistance. So I will have here the 10 milliamp. I will have here 10 kilo, 7 and three, the other 10 milliamp source here, and then the 100 
15 and 10. Now, a current source in parallel with the resistance, we can convert that into, uh, into uh, a voltage source in series. So this will be basically, I will have a voltage source here, 100 times, sorry, 10 times 10 is 100 volts. So this is 100 volt. And then you will have the 10, the 7, and the 3. I will have here my current source, which is the 10 milliamps. Again, we'll have here 100. And then you will have 15 and 10. And of course, this is I0. Now, I will have the 7, the 10, and the three they are all in series so they will be added up to 20 so all of this will be in series with the voltage source so you will have here plus minus 100 volt is basically in series with 20 kilo ohm and then here you will have the 10 milliamp and then we will have the 100 ohm, kilo ohm, sorry. And here we have 15 kilo and 10 kilo. And here is my I0. Again, now, this 100 with this 20 will be basically in a series. So I can convert this into a current source. And this current source will equal to 100 divided by 20 kilo which is 5 milliamp, and I will have the 20 kilo ohm in parallel. So as you can see here now, by doing this, I'm really uh, reducing the circuit complexity. This is 10. This is 100 kilo. And then this is the branch that I don't want to touch. I keep it as it is with the 15 and the 10. Okay. Now, what we realize is that this resistance and this are in parallel, and these two core, uh, these two uh, current sources, they are in parallel in the same direction. So, for the current sources, you, since both of them are pointing in one direction, it will be one current source equal to ten plus five, which is fifteen milliamp, and you will have the twenty and the hundred in parallel, so it's twenty times 100 divided by 20 plus 100. And this will give me 16.67 kilo ohm. So let me redraw the circuit now. So I will have here 15 milliamp. In parallel with it, with this, I will have the 16.67 kilo ohm. And then I will have 15 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm, and this is my I0. Now I reach a level that I don't need to uh, uh, further simplify the circuit. I could add these two as a voltage source in series with the resistance, but I don't need that. All I need, and then using ohms low, you can find I0, but I can use here current division right away. So I0 is equal to the 15 milliamps times the other resistance, which is the 16.67 divided by the 16.67 plus these two resistors in series, which is the 15 plus 10. And this approximately will give you 6 milli milliamp. Now, as I said, if you convert this into a voltage source in series with another resistance, then your I0 will be the this voltage divided by the summation of all resistors in series and it will also you will get the six milliamps so as you can see here we started for with this circuit we have too many nodes too many loops we end up with two loop circuit simple current division can can solve it so the source transformation can help you to reduce the complexity of your uh, analysis